This is a story about depleted uranium, DU munitions, their terrible impact, about who's affected, and about some civil action in response to their production, use in combat, and in testing grounds. It's a story about contamination that won't go away. It's also about a discovery of an issue that appears to remain submerged, obscured, often hidden from view. Experience with a victim of depleted uranium, and uh, in fact, I have uh, seen uh, Iraqi uh, victims, and then most of them are children. They are still suffering, and they are dying right now. And uh, I mean, even to this day, they claim nobody's sick or nobody's dead. Well, they sure as heck all of us are, because it's absolutely verified. I don't look like it, but I spent almost three months being homeless. And I wasn't speaking out about this stuff. I was too sick. I couldn't work. My disability hadn't come in. I was out of options. And if my friends hadn't stepped up and picked me up, I don't know where I would have ended up. We just, we don't have the safety net. The safety net's gone. And, and you don't run the risk of losing what little you have. It's a too controversial topic, and there aren't enough people protecting you. And what does what the, the lab report tell you about yourself? Well, they have depleted uranium in me. And plus, when they tested our house, when it first came out, that we they found the samples in the dust samples. Are you, are you ill, too? I have all kinds of health problems. What are they? I have a serious heart condition. They just found a brain aneurysm in me. I get seizures. I have constant pains up and down my legs, deep down inside. And I have strange lumps on my chest that protrude without an inch. I don't consider what I'm doing uh, bad mouth in the military. I consider just telling the truth, what they should have been doing uh, a long time ago, you know, when they knew about the fleet of uranium, they should have been doing something to protect us. Because, but because they didn't uh, and tell the truth about the military, how they are not taking care of us. The, the sadness of the, of the story is that my friend got sick and uh, he started developing a tumor in his head and all of a sudden the tumor was in the skull in the bone. So it turned out to be melanoma, melanoma. So uh, they did the test to my friend. My friend was in the hospital uh, almost dying. So they went over there to conduct the test, a hair test and blood test. And uh, when the test came back, it came with the very high levels of uranium and lithium and arsenic and lead and, and gunpowder. So, uh, the doctors in the hospital, when they saw that test, they said that this is impossible. This, this test is uh, results in this test is total full contamination is more than a hundred percent. And they said that test is not good, so they should conduct that test again. They should perform that test, and they did. They did the test again, and the test came the same like the first test. So that's when uh, when I uh, beginning to really get involved with the struggle and finding that. This is true, this is not a joke, this is, somebody's been covering up this, and that was the Navy. On impact, the 120 millimeter round, DU round, is already burning as it flies out of the, out of the bore of the tube, right in the very front of the muzzle, out of the tank. It's flying through the air, it's on fire. On impact, you saw what happened. And on the inside of a tank, you have a firestorm of burning uranium fragments that burns and burns and burns.